The purpose of this video is to teach you about the Short Physical Performance Battery Test, or SPPB. The SPPB is a validated tool that we can use to assess a patient's level of physical function as well as their future risk for activities of daily living decline. It is a performance-based test and it will take about 10 minutes to administer. Okay, let's begin the evaluation. Um, I'm going to have you standing in a couple different positions. And first, I will explain them and show them to you with my feet. And then after you see me doing it, you can get into the position. And Ken here will time you. And we're going to try to hold these positions for 10 seconds each. Um, Any time that you feel unsafe, uh, just let me know and we'll move on to the next section. Any time you need to step out of the posture to maintain your balance, um, we'll, we will have to move on to the next section. Okay. So um, when you are standing in the posture, you can move your body and your arms and bend your knees in order to maintain your balance. The main thing is we want your feet to stay in place for the 10 seconds. Okay. Okay. So let me show you the first um, position that I want you to stand in. And just watch me for a second as I show you. We want your feet next to each other and touching for 10 seconds, okay? okay. Um, do you have any I, questions before we begin? No. Okay, so let's have you put your feet into this position here. Great. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, begin. And stop. Great, and you can just stand normally. Let's look at the scoring for the balance section. The side-by-side -side stand is worth one point if the patient can successfully hold the position for 10 seconds. So the second position is having your heel of one foot uh, around the toe area of the second foot, and we'll have you choose whichever foot you feel more comfortable with for the front and back, so you can do either side. Um, you're going to hold this position for 10 seconds again, and you can move your body, your arms, and bend your knees if you need to to maintain your balance. Just try to keep your feet in this position. Okay. Are you, do you have any questions about that posture? No. Okay. So let's have you get into that position there. Great. And let's have you move that front foot back about two inches. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Ready and begin. And stop. Great. And you can stand normally. The semi-tandem stand is also worth one point if the patient can successfully hold the position for 10 seconds. And I'll show you the third posture. The third posture is putting the heel of one foot against the toes of the other foot. And once again, you can choose whichever foot you want in the front and in the back. Okay. Okay. And you're going to hold this for 10 seconds if possible. And um, once again, you can use your arms, uh, your knees, and your body to maintain balance, but try to keep the feet in that position. Um, do you feel I, that would be safe? I, I, I think so. Okay. Do you have any questions about this one? Um, no. Okay. I don't Let's think have so. you try to get into that position. Okay. Good. Okay. Ready? Begin. And stop. Good. Okay. Thank you. The tandem stand is worth two points. If the patient can successfully hold this position for 10 seconds, they receive the total two points. If they can only hold this position for 3 to 9.99 .9 seconds, they receive one point. If they cannot hold this position for three seconds or more, or they cannot attempt it, they receive zero points. Since our patient successfully held each of the three postures for 10 seconds, he received the full four points for this section. Um, now I'm going to observe how you normally walk. Um, this is our walking course here. Walk at your normal speed as if you're going to, down the street to the grocery store and to walk um, towards the end of the course and past the line without slowing down. Okay. And I'll walk right with you and make sure that you feel safe, okay? Can I show you what I mean? Sure. Okay.
When you're ready, I'll say ready begin, and we'll have someone timing you when you cross the line. You'll need a timer that goes to the hundredths mark and the walking course marked in advance. If the patient uses an assistive device and needs it for short distances, they can use it. Okay. Okay, so can I have you line your feet up behind that uh, line right there? And are you ready? I'm ready. Good. Okay, ready, begin. Start timing when the patient begins walking across the line. Stop timing when one of the patient's feet is completely across the line. And we'll do this again. All right. So now I want you to repeat the walk and just remember not to slow down as you reach the line, but rather to walk past it. And I'll have you line up. And if you're ready. I'm begin. ready. Okay, ready, begin. Since our patient's faster 4 meter walk was 3.5 seconds, he received the full four points for this section. Use your SPPB guide for proper scoring. Okay, let's start with the final portion of our assessment. Do you think it would be safe to stand up from this chair without using your arms? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's have you cross your arms over your chest like this. And can I have you put your feet flat on the floor in front of you? Great, thank you. And go ahead and try to stand up without using your arms. Great, okay, let's sit back down. Stop the test if the patient uses their arms to stand, has not completed five rises by one minute, or at your discretion if you are concerned for patient safety. And now we're going to have you do that five times in a row as quickly as you can, okay? Okay. Do you think that would be safe? I think so. Okay. And just remember, if you feel dizzy or short of breath or don't, you don't feel well in any way, let me know and we'll stop, okay? Okay. Great. All right. So let's put your arms over your chest and make sure you keep them in that position during your five stands, okay? All right. Great. And I'll be timing you. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, and begin. One, two, three, four, five. Great, thank you. Since our patient's time was 14.96 seconds, he received two points for this section. Use your SPPB guide for the proper scoring. The SPPB score can help you understand the patient's current physical status as well as their relative risk for ADL decline over the next four years. Add up the points for the three sections of the SPPB to get the total score. Our patient's final score is 10 out of 12 points, which corresponds with minimal limitations in physical function.